I am sitting here with my good brother. Yeah, man. Daniel, Daniel. just took me on an adventure today, a safari. Yeah. A safari in, in Zuri. Indeed. And um, uh, we're wrapping up our day and I just presented him with the brother man revelation graphic novel and he wanted to break down what brother, brother man means in okay. Tanzania. Well, the thing is like, brother, Daud, I'll tell you one thing. In Tanzania, when you differentiate between a gangster mm -hmm. and a normal guy, mm -hmm. a gangster is called Msela. Mm -hmm. That is slang meaning a gangster mm -hmm. in Swahili. You say Msela. Mm -hmm. But when you want to talk of the guys who walk like this, you get me? The ones who look like, you know, mm -hmm. dressed up clean mm -hmm. and they're like, Straight guys, you call them brother men. See? <laughs> yeah, we call them brother men. Oh <laughs> man, see? Yeah. So uh, you, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna dig this because it's it's really the same with us because when you think of like like in America when the when they use the term nigger, nigger. you know, which which is it's controversial, but at the same time, I say it's not because. It was a word that was me meant to demean us as black people, yeah, you know, yeah. from slavery. So then even if you come out the physical chains of slavery, your mind is still in the mental because you think you're a nigga. If, yeah. if somebody calls you nigga long enough and then you call yourself a nigga after that, they don't have to do anything to you because you accepted it. You see, so the opposite of the nigga is the brother man, the brother of man. Sure. You see what I'm saying? Sure. So, it's just, so that's what you're saying. Here, so really this book, this character, his name is Antonio Ballard. Okay. You know, this is starting off when he was a kid, but he grows into a man. Because see here, here's, see the shadow of the man? Yeah. That's premonition. That's that's who he is to become. Okay. But that's who he is now. Like when you were saying like how you work with the kids, sure. and the kids may not realize that they're this powerful because they're at this stage right now in their life. Okay. And they think this is the absolute of their life. I'm just going to be here. It's like, no, you have all this greatness inside of you. you, you you can be like this one day, you'll be great. So that's what this represents in metaphor. So man. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, yeah. So in Tanzania, that's when you see like clean blonde guys like they trust in themselves, you call yeah, them yeah. brother men. Mm -hmm. Now that is in Swahili. It's an English word that people twist a little bit and say brother men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when you pronounce it, you say, ah, oh, brother men. Brother like man. when you see a clean guy mm -hmm. walking like, you know. You say, ah, that's brother man. But when you see like a gangster, like what you say, that's the seller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now the ones who are like, they've changed, mm -hmm. they become like men, mm -hmm. we call them brother man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like see. That. Yeah, we had like, like thug, hustlers, all kinds of names. You now know, the thug and hustling side, in Swahili slang, you say msela. Msela. Yeah, msela is like thug, mm -hmm. hustler. But, uh, I would say for brother man is like somebody who's already like turned mm -hmm. from being a gangster, mm -hmm. you've turned to be a good boy. Mm -hmm. Now people call you a brother man. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. They're going to love that. <laughs> so yeah, so check that out. I got, so I got three of those no for you. And um, 